under the Constitution to manage monetary policy? What, uh, which branch of government has the absolute authority to manage monetary policy? The Congress has the authority, and it's delegated to the Federal Reserve. That's a policy decision that you made. Yeah, but they can't transfer authority. Um, you can't amend the Constitution by just saying we're going to create some secret group of individuals and banks. That's amending the Constitution. You can't do that and all of a sudden allow this to exist in secrecy. And who's, whose responsibility is it uh, uh, for uh, oversight? Which branch of government has, a, has the right of oversight? Congress has the right of oversight, and we certainly fully accept that, and, are, and, I, and we fully accept the need for transparency and accountability. Um, but it is a, uh, a well-established fact that an independent central bank will provide better uh, outcomes um, if you want to go, uh, there's no constitutional reason why you couldn't, why Congress couldn't just take over monetary policy. Um, if you want to do that, I guess that's your right to do it. But I'm advising you that it wouldn't be very good from an economic policy point of view. Yeah, but if if it's allowed to be done in secret, this is the reason why I want to work within the system. What I want to say is Congress ought to get a backbone. They ought to say we deserve to know, we have a right to know, we have an obligation to know because we have an obligation to defend our currency. It's the destruction of the currency that des des destroys the middle class. There is a principle of free market banking that says if you destroy the value of currency through inflation, you transfer the wealth from the middle class and it gravitates to the very wealthy. The bankers, the government, the politicians, they all love this. It is, it is the fact that the Federal Reserve is the facilitator that you couldn't have big government. If everybody loves big government, love the Fed, because they can finance the wars and all the welfare you want, but it doesn't work. It eventually ends up in a crisis, and it's a yeah. currency crisis, and it can't be solved by printing a whole lot of money. So I think the very first step is transparency, and for us to know, we have a right to know, and you may be correct in your assumption, at least I'm sure you believe this, but maybe I should be talking to the Congress that we should stand up and say, yes, we demand to know. Trillions and trillions of dollars being printed out of thin air and bailing out their friends. They stand ready to do it. The crisis is just, in its, as far as I'm concerned, my opinion is it's in the early stages. It's far from over. We're in deep doldrums, and we never change policy. We never challenge anything. We just keep doing the same thing. Congress keeps spending the money. Welfare expands exponentially. Wars never end. And deficits don't matter. And when it comes to cutting spending, Republicans and Democrats to get together and say, oh, no, we, we can't really cut. And if we do cut, we just I, cut proposed I, increases. Give a regular you, order. you stand there, Thank you, you stand there order. And, 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 and facilitate it all. Thank you, Dr. Paul. Thank uh, you, Dr. Paul. Congressman Clay for five minutes. You're the man. Thank you.